welcome to the show where I make cat-tastic crafts from Gabby's Dollhouse. Gabby's amusing dollhouse is where Gabby and the Gabby cats have all kinds of fun. Today, I'm crafting everything we'll need to celebrate a very special holiday, Purr's Day. Purr's Day Hug Attack! Gabby and the Gabby cats wait all year for this special holiday. Day is the happiest cat day of the year. It's a whole day to celebrate all things cats. Hmm, what's the best way to start a cat party? It's Cat Betty! Baby Box has been getting ready for the Purr's Day celebration all week. She's already started blowing up balloons. Time to make some colorful kitty cat balloons! Each balloon has ears and a kitty cat face. They are green, pink, blue, purple, and orange. Too. Balloons aren't the only decorations Baby Box prepared for the big cat party. She made peekaboo kitty paper dolls to hang around the room. Peekaboo kitties are holding hands. Now it's time to decorate them. Captastic! While Baby Box hangs these up in the music room, let's head to the kitchen for a cakey-licious surprise. Cakey whipped up a special Purr's Day kitty cat cake. Gabby and Pandy love to bakey with cakey, so they'll help decorate the cake. Let's get frosting! Frost the cake, frost the cake, with a swish and a swish and a swish and swoosh. Frost the cake, frost the cake. They cover the cake in decorations that look like all of their dollhouse friends. That's a cute cake, but we can't forget the kitty cat face. Whiskers are the finishing touch. But wait, I think there's one more thing Cakey can add to make this cake even better. Sprinkle party! Now that we have everything we need for a paw-tastic Purr's Day party, it's time to decorate the music room. The big day's here, it's time for celebration. The Purr's Day spirit sweeping kitty nation. The dollhouse. 
house is decked out, it's time to say Thursday, Thursday, kitties come out and play. Thanks for joining me and making this Thursday positively perfect. Be sure to check out other episodes to see what else I've crafted from Gabby's dollhouse. Tune in soon for more catastic creations. I hope you're ready for an amusing episode of the show where I make mini versions of things from Gabby's dollhouse. Gabby and the Gabby cats have so many amusing adventures in the rooms of her dollhouse. Today, we're going to the fairy tale garden for Pandy's birthday. It's time to get tiny. Thanks for coming to my party. It's gonna be potastic. We're celebrating Pandy, so let's make the birthday cat an extra special party hat. This hat has red, green, and blue pom poms. Ready to party! Let's get this party started with a pickle pinata! You gotta be kidding me! I love pickles! Cute pickle has eyes, a mouth, and a party hat of its own. Pandy sure does love pickles. This pickle has a surprise inside. Pandy candy! Somewhere to put all these goodies. But not to worry, Baby Box has a pandy themed craft that everyone can enjoy pandy goodie bags. All of the bags have little ears on top to make them terrific. To make it look like our friend Pandy, let's color one ear black. Let's give him a big pandy smile, a heart nose pipe cleaner whiskers, and two googly eyes. Now everyone can fill their pandy goodie bags with pandy candy. There are so many sweet treats at birthday parties, and Cakey has whipped up a special birthday cake. This catastic cake has three layers and is covered in rainbow sprinkles. The birthday cake has a party hat just like Pandy's. And to top it all off is a rainbow kitty candle. Now that's one amusing cake creation. This is the best birthday party in the whole world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh-oh. Pandy accidentally knocked over the cake. Oh no, my cake. But that's okay, because accidents happen. Now everyone gets to enjoy smash cake.
And no matter what it looks like, a cake's gonna taste potastic. Delicious! Happy birthday, Pandy! That was an amazing party for Pandy! And the best part was celebrating with all of you!
105, everybody. We did it. High, High five. five! You know the only thing that can make this ice cream even better? What? what? Sprinkles! Sprinkle party! Yay! Yay! Hi there. I hope you're excited for another catastic episode of the show where I make mini versions of things from Gabby's dollhouse. Gabby and the Gabby cats have so many amusing adventures in the rooms of her dollhouse. Today, Gabby, Pandy, and Carlita are joining DJ Catnip's Super Thinker Camp. I want to be a super thinker. Yeah! Me too! To do that, you must complete the Super Thinker Obstacle Course! Ooh. DJ Catnip has set up a Super Thinker Obstacle Course. Gabby, Pandy, and Carlita need to complete the course through problem solving. I'm going to start by building the walls and floor of the room. There are lots of balloons everywhere too. up on the obstacle course, they'll have to cross the booby trap shapes. When the shapes are down, they look like circles on the floor. When the shapes get moving, they are all different heights. You don't want to land on a booby trap shape. Super thinkers always look before they leap. You can tell which shapes are booby trapped because they're marked with tricks or caps. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Whoa! And gotcha! Trickster cats have purple masks and angry eyebrows. <laughs> After the booby trap shapes, you must think your way through those super clue rooms. First, I'm decorating the outside of the rooms. Gabby uses clues to figure out how to get out of the rooms. Now I'm making the tunnel. A secret door! Beep beep! Come on, super thinkers! Gabby thinks her way out of the super clue room. The last big obstacle is to swing over the pool of power. With encouragement from friends, they use the super swing to cross the pool of power in no time. Now it's time to go up the ramp and finish the course.
The last thing to do before earning a rainbow cape is to ring the golden shield. It is now time to ring the golden shield and receive your rainbow capes! a meowsing obstacle course for my DIY dollhouse. Come back soon to see what else I make. Hey, Gabby Cat friends! Are you ready for another cat-tastic episode of the show where I make mini versions of things from Gabby's dollhouse? Gabby and the Gabby Cats have so many a meowsing adventures in the rooms of her dollhouse. Today, we're visiting Baby Box's craft room to make some of her cat-tastic crafts. So let's get crafting! On a rainy day, Gabby's rainy day banana helps Baby Box think of a fun craft idea. Ta-da! Rainy day banana! The rainy day banana is so special, it sparkles. When Baby Box puts the rainy day banana on her head, it gives her the idea to make Super Banana! Gabby and the Gabby cats make a whole super banana story. But to do that, they need more characters. Meet Mr. Marker, the baddest bad guy in Craft Town. <laughs> and Pom Pom, the sweetest little chickadoodle in Craft Town. Cheep, cheep. Oh, he's so cute. Pom Pom is stuck on top of a tall building. I'm going to build the tall building out of blocks. One tall building stacking up. Never fear, Super Banana is here! But she needs something to climb the building with. Some yarn will do the trick. Uh, 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 uh. Never fear, Super Banana is here! I'm safe! Cheep, cheep! Now that was one a meowsing story. Speaking of a meowsing stories, Remember when Baby Box helped Gabby save King Catnip? The key to the tower was in the clutches of a ferocious dragon. But Baby Box helped make a dragon disguise to get the key back. Let's get crafty rific. There's a ferocious dragon who has our precious key. We need to get it back so we can set the king free. We've got ourselves a plan. It's pretty crafty. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. We can't approach his knights for the dragon. Glitter makes everything 
getting better. Huzzah, huzzah. This dragon has pipe cleaner whiskers and a nose. Can't forget the wheels. Get that key. And done. Huzzah! Using the disguise Baby Box helped them build, Gabby, Pandy, and Cat Rat were able to get the key and set the king free. Now I have a disguise of my own. Baby Box has all kinds of crafty ideas she shared with Gabby and the Gabby Cats. We handmade some big adventures today. Hello there! It's time to get excited for another possum episode of the show where I make mini versions of things from Gabby's dollhouse. Gabby and the Gabby cats have so many amusing adventures in the rooms of her dollhouse. Sometimes, the dollhouse becomes a different place altogether. We're at the dollhouse hotel! <gasps> oh, I can't wait to see Fluffy sing! Attention cats and kittens! The Dollhouse Hotel is excited to announce that we're hosting a concert for the one and only Fluffy Flufferton. Gabby! Pandy! Are you going to the Fluffy Flufferton concert too? You know it! I hope you're looking forward to the Fluffy Flufferton concert. I have two tickets for you and me! Gabby, Pandy, and Cat Rat help Fluffy get ready for her concert, and the first thing they do is bring her her suitcase. has all sorts of things to get ready, like her bow. Fluffy's bow is blue with glittery swirls on it. can wear this to her concert. Now there are a few more things to do, like have a snack. Cakey Smoothie Station is a crowd favorite at the Dollhouse Hotel. is trying new things, like smoothie flavors. Cakey Smoothie Station has so many fruits to choose from. likes it. Me neither. The yellow smoothie was not her favorite, but it's a good thing that there are other colors to try. Let's make Fluffy a purple smoothie. This is 
delicious! Woohoo! Way to go, Fluffy! Terrific! Fluffy tried something new and liked it! She's almost ready for her concert, but we need to craft one more thing to help her sing. Let's get Fluffy's microphone ready while she warms up. Ready. The one and only Fluffy Flufferton! <laughs> yeah! Gonna lose the ball and let it flow. That's how Fluffy does it. I've got no need for puffy sleeves. That's how Fluffy does it. Try every groovy flavored smoothie. That's how Fluffy does it. Confer with me fantastically. That's how Fluffy does it. We tried so many new things with Fluffy today. Welcome to another episode of the show where I build rooms from Gabby's dollhouse. I hope you're ready for some catastic fun. Gabby and the Gabby cats love to play in the amusing rooms of her dollhouse. There is no better place for playtime than Carlita's playroom. Come on, it's time to get tiny. Carlita zooms through her playroom with the Gabby cats along for a ride. Put your seatbelts on and hold on tight. Let's start with the floors of the playroom. This room is so potastic, you can play anywhere you want, even the walls. There are rocks to climb everywhere. The playroom is the biggest room in the dollhouse. It actually expands. I'm building an extra piece of the wall to show what the front of the room looks like before it transforms into an a meowsing play place. There's a kitty shaped structure right where Gabby and her friends enter the room. It has a rainbow ladder to climb up. Carlita's room also has blocks to make castles or anything you can imagine. There are even peekaboo kitties to make these blocks catastic. Each block of the castle is a different color. Carlita is always ready to roll. When she goes for a ride with the Gabby cats, they sometimes go on adventures in the magic chalkboard. In the playroom, there's excitement around every corner. Gabby and the Gabby cats dive into the kitty-shaped ball pit and splash around. Gabby and her friends run, hide, and wobble across this rope bridge. The bridge is made of pink, purple, and blue planks. Hold on tight to the purple ropes, it's bouncy.
Whenever anyone rides in Carlita, they are sure to buckle up. Listen for Carlita's beep beep as she passes by. Beep beep. Playroom is finished and ready for Gabby and her friends to give it a go. Now to add it to the rest of my dollhouse. We're almost done building the third floor. There is so much more fun to be had in Gabby's dollhouse. Hello there. It's time to get excited for another possum episode of the show where I make mini versions of things from Gabby's dollhouse. Today, I'm going to remake some of the dollhouse rooms into cat-tastic new places where Gabby and Pandy visit. Pack your suitcase because we are going on a cozy retreat at the Dollhouse Hotel. When Gabby and Pandy go to the Dollhouse Hotel, they head right to the front desk, which is in DJ Catnip's music room. The Box family made the hotel desk from cardboard, and so will I. DJ Catnip runs the front desk, and he needs kitty cubbies to keep the hotel organized. The desk has a purple striped awning with scalloped edges. Can't forget to add the hotel's cat-tastic logo. Now that the front desk is complete, it's time to get checked in. But where is DJ Catnip? We'll need to get his attention, so I'm crafting a gold service bell. There, now DJ Catnip can hear the guests at the front desk. Hey, hey! Hey, welcome to the Dollhouse Hotel. Step right in, we treat. Once we're all checked in, we'll need a key card to get into our room and around the hotel. Carlita's got your bags and everything so catabulous. To transform the music room, I'll take out this wall for DJ Catnip's front desk. so well, it's catabulous. Leave it all to us at the Dollhouse Hotel. We'll treat you so well. Gabby and Pandy loved their stay at the Dollhouse Hotel. Five stars! On a different adventure, Gabby and Pandy took a trip to the Wild West from the Fairy Tale Garden. Come on, let's ride! To make this garden look like the Wild Wild West, we're going to need a lot of cacti. Gabby and Pandy go on a mission to safely deliver a bag of golden nuggets and can't let Cat Rat the Bandit get his paws on it. Now that's a heck of a lot of gold. We've got to keep them safe in a trusty sack. To deliver these nuggets, Gabby and Pandy take a ride on a train. 
Just a couple of cowboys riding off the town. Shooting the breeze and living the dream to the sound of a sweet kitty ditty in the western sun. Riding the rails till the day is done. On a chug of one and boots, goon, room tune. Choo choo. Just a couple of cowboys riding through the town. Chasing and a racing and a chasing that bear. One rootin' tootin' choo-choo train. We had an adventure of our own today as we transformed these rooms in Gabby's dollhouse. Hi there! I hope you're ready for a catastic episode of the show where I make mini versions of things from Gabby's dollhouse. Today, Gabby and friends are solving riddles around the dollhouse. Cat Rat is sending everyone on a puzzle hunt that starts in the playroom. Pandy and Gabby get a puzzle frame that shows them they have four pieces of the puzzle to find. They head to Kitty Town inside the chalkboard wall to find the first piece of their puzzle. To get their first puzzle piece, they need to find a pickle, a trophy, and a hamster hidden in Kitty Town. They spot the pickle hidden on the sign of a taxi cab. Pickle! We found the pickle! Potastic! One down, two more to go! Next up, they need to find the trophy. They find the trophy hidden in a building window. Two down, one more to go. The last thing they need to find is a hamster kitty. Find the hamster kitty hidden in the bakery window. Hi, little hamster kitty. <coughs> they have their first puzzle piece. On to the next clue. Where do you go when your teeth need a brushing and you wash your hands when you finish flushing? They head to the bathroom to find their next puzzle piece. They play peekaboo shell with Mercat. Catches the shell and receives their next puzzle piece. Another puzzle piece! Two more pieces to go! Where do you go to cuddle up tight? Rest your head on a pillow and say nighty night. To the bedroom! For their next challenge, they play a rhyming story with Pillow Cat. They have to solve rhymes to get to the frog prince who has their puzzle piece. In order to cross the lake, they have to climb aboard the cake.
They make it to the Frog Prince and receive their third puzzle piece. To find their last puzzle piece, they go to the music room. I'll show you how it's done. You pop on purple, pop, pop, pop. You wiggle on white, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. For their last challenge, Gabby and Pandy play the Rainbow Boogie with DJ Catnip. One more time, pop on purple, wiggle on white, glide on green, and rain. They rainbow boogie their way to their last puzzle piece. Time to put this puzzle together. Oh yeah! I'll do the second piece. And there! And there's only one spot left for the last piece. There! They solve the puzzle and find a door to the boogie zone. Whoa! Check it out, Gabby Cats! We're in the boogie zone! Here we go! I had so much fun solving riddles and crafting puzzles today. Come back soon to see what else I make. Hello! Welcome back to the show where I build rooms from Gabby's Dollhouse. Gabby and the Gabby Cats have a meowsing adventures in the magical rooms of her dollhouse. Today, I'm making the music room. It's time to get tiny and time to get funky. If you're looking for a brand new groove, look no further than DJ Catnip's music room. With DJ Catnip on the mic, we're ready to get the party started. First, let's make the floors. The music room has purple floors and a green carpet with kitty ears. The music room is the place to get your groove on. The walls are even decorated in rainbow lines that look just like a musical staff. DJ Catnip loves to boogie. So let's get ready for a dance party. Every party needs a disco ball to make it catastic. When it's time to groove, DJ Catnip's turntables come out and spin beats. The turntables are behind this cat poster on the wall. The music room is for dancing and making music. See? The wall is covered in catastic musical instruments. There is one for every Gabby cat to play. plays a ukulele. It's extra special because it is in the shape of a cat. (music) 
and DJ Catnip's tuba playing gets things moving. exciting instrument in the room is the couch. You heard right. DJ Catnip's Xylo Sofa is an instrument that you can play with your tush. But the Xylo Sofa isn't the only place you can put your tush. The music room is filled with plushy bean bags and they all have kitty ears. These bright bean bags go all around the pink kitty table in the center of the room. The key to making this piano sing are the peekaboo kittens on top. When the piano plays, the kittens dance. Cause when the music in you is unstoppable, anything is possible. What is the best way to grow your sound? A music tree. The music tree grows all the way up through the ceiling to Pillow Cat's bedroom on the next floor. The best way to get to the top of the music tree is to climb up the drums. There are also little purple doors on the tree. Cat Rat likes to poke his head out of those sometimes. Time to add the tree's rainbow lights as the finishing touch. is perfect. Now the first floor of my very own Gabby's Dollhouse is complete. All this music room needs is Gabby and her pals to make some funky tunes. Speaking of tunes, tune in next time to see me build more rooms from Gabby's Dollhouse. Hello, all you Gabby Cat friends. I hope you're excited because today is an extra special episode of the show where I craft things from Gabby's dollhouse. It's the Winter Wonderland edition. Gabby and the Gabby Cats have so many amusing adventures in the rooms of her dollhouse. And now it's starting to get chilly out. So today we are going to turn our DIY dollhouse into a winter wonderland. Let's get crafting. I'm adding some sparkly white snow to the dollhouse to put us in the cat-tabulous holiday spirit. Time to have some fun in the snow! 
Gabby and Pandy love to zoom around the dollhouse in Carlita, so I'm going to craft a cat-tastic cardboard sleigh that they can sled in. A sleigh needs lights on top. And a kitty face with rosy cheeks. This kitty sleigh is almost done. It just needs one finishing touch. Candy canes! This sleigh is ready to be taken for a ride. Crafty Riffic! After all that fun in the snow, there's nothing like coodling up next to a warm fire. I'm building a fireplace for Gabby and the Gabby Cats to get cozy. Can't forget the kitty ears! Instead of hanging stockings by this fire, Gabby and the Gabby Cats hang kitten mittens! Each of the Gabby Cats' mitten has their unique paw print. Gabby's, of course, has a hand print. place is all done! To give it an extra cat-tabulous holiday touch, let's add a kitty wreath! Done. What's that smell coming from mm. Kiki's kitchen? Holiday cookies! Kiki makes these cookies extra festive by decorating them with snow kitties. Cookie decorating is a perfect winter activity to do with friends. Today, we handmade some amusing winter fun. I hope these crafts put you in the holiday spirit. Welcome to the show where I make catastic crafts of things from Gabby's Dollhouse. Gabby's Dollhouse is where Gabby and the Gabby Cats have amusing adventures. Today, we are taking a special trip to Carlita's playroom for a safari. Welcome to the dollhouse. You can always find Carlita in the playroom. Carlita is a cat-terrific race car, and she loves to zoom around with her Gabby cat friends. Today, Carlita is revved up for a super safari adventure! 
time to add some leopard print spots to make her jungle ready. Adding this top makes Carlita look just like a safari truck. And to complete the look, I'll give Carlita's tail brown stripes. Now that Carlita is ready to adventure, Gabby and Pandy need to get their safari gear on too. Ta-da! I'll make some catastic safari hats. are ready for Gabby and Pandy to wear. Now we're ready to go on safari. Gabby and Pandy are on the search for the mysterious Felis Caddis. So they need more special safari gear. Binoculars! Now that they're ready to explore, Gabby, Pandy, and Carlita head into the chalk jungle for their safari adventure. To make the chalk jungle, I'm going to need to build a whole new room. Let's get the safari started. Hang on. It really feels like we're on safari now. I'll start with a grassy floor. Come along, put on your hats. On our safari, safari. The walls are black with jungle trees, plants, and tall grass. On our safari, safari, safari. Our binoculars help us see. Tall grass. Flowers. Wowzers. Wowzers. There's a parrot up in that tree. Shh. What else do you see? Whoa, lions. On our safari, I need to add some 3D plants and trees so Carlita can drive through the jungle. On our safari, 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 with the Gabby cats and Gabby. Woo! there to see on a safari. Animals! And now we have our completed chalk jungle. Wow, this safari thing is pretty cool. This is one catastic jungle. With Gabby and friends, you never know where they'll go next. I had so much fun making this chalk jungle safari today. Thanks for joining me for another pawtastic creation. Gabby and the Gabby Cats go on so many adventures in the dollhouse. Tune in next time to see what craftastic things I'll make next. Thank you.